Hey guys, I'm Christy from Girls Can Grill, a competitive pit master. I'm going to talk to you about making homemade chorizo sausage. So when I trim my meat for competition barbecue, I trim it really aggressively. This is my leftover brisket. This is my leftover pork butt. Basically for competitions, I'm just looking for six pieces of meat that I'm going to give to the judges. So I start with a 20 pound brisket and all of this comes off. So I'm going to show you what I do with all of this. So I took all of this, you keep it really cold and I grind it up at home. I just use my KitchenAid grinder and get it really nice and fine. So this is my pork, this is my brisket. And you can look at the different fat in here. The pork's got a lot more fat than this brisket because this is a lot of the pieces from the flat itself. So I'm actually gonna throw in some extra pork fat because nothing's wrong with extra pork fat. That's gonna help make your sausage nice and juicy. So I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna mix them up with my homemade chorizo sauce. This is basically water mixed with some nice ground chilies. There's a little bit of cumin, a little bit of cinnamon. It's gonna give you that really nice chorizo flavor. So since we're outdoors, I've been keeping this all really cold. That's another key to making sausage to keeping it nice and juicy see is keeping it as cold as possible through the whole process. So let's get started. All right, so let's mix this up. I've got the brisket here. Again, we're gonna throw in this pork fat. This is just back fat. You can find it from your local butcher. If you have trouble finding it, you can just use ground up bacon, which is basically mostly fat anyway. My rule is about a third of a pound of back fat to a pound of meat. So I've got two pounds of meat here, so I've got two-thirds pounds of back fat. I'm gonna get this mixed together. And I'm gonna pour in this chorizo seasoning here. Again, lots of chilies, some cumin, garlic, cinnamon, a little bit of vinegar and water. Later on, I'm actually gonna stuff all of this and we're gonna leave some of it out and make queso fundido. Chorizo is really fun. You can do lots of things with it. You can either make up your link sausages or you can just cook it up and make some hash. But you just wanna make sure that you get all of the seasoning mixed in really well with the meat. And the meat is nice and cold. All right, so the next step is stuffing it. So I've been keeping this in the cooler so it's nice and cold. Again, that's the key to good sausage. I'm just gonna put it all right inside here. We're gonna add on our stuffer tube. So we got those chorizo links that we made earlier. I'm gonna throw them on here. They're gonna cook up and get a nice char on them. In the interim, I've got some of the chorizo here that we didn't put in the casings. We're gonna make queso fundido, which is basically like ground meat and cheese for some nachos. Gonna be delicious. So this is just gonna heat up here in the skillet and then we're gonna add the cheese. So now it's time to make the queso part of the fundido. This is Oaxaca cheese. If you have mozzarella, that works too. You just want a cheese that's like super melty. We're gonna throw this right on top of this sizzling chorizo. It's just gonna naturally melt in here for our queso. Mm -hmm. 